Production information sourced from the Free Encyclopedia related to the classic serial here, The Damons. The Damons began life as an audition scene for the companion Joe Grant. The audition sequence went on to be written into episode 4. Producer Barry Letts was keen to write for the show and decided that a story dealing in black magic would be interesting as well as frightening. Script editor Terence Dix had reservations, however, stating that people may view it as Satanist, and so it was reworked as strictly scientific of occultist themes. The Master was originally intended to worship the demon in a church setting, standing on an altar. However, owing to fears that this might upset religious viewers, the scenes were reset in a crypt. This is subsequently revised again, and the crypt was called a cavern, where the set resembled a church crypt. Let's initially intended to write the story himself, but found himself short of time due to his role as a series producer. His wife suggested a friend of hers, Robert Sloman, who was a playwright and journalist. Together they worked on the script in the evening after work. At the time, however, the BBC frowned upon production staff writing for their series, and so Letts and Sloman decided on the pseudonym Guy Leopold, Sloman's son and Letts' middle name respectively. The working title for this story was The Damons, which was commissioned on the 17th of December 1970. The scripts were completed by mid-February 1971 and worked on by Dix, who had barely completed work on them by the time the story went into pre-production in March. Director Christopher Barry had worked on Doctor Who before, but wasn't particularly keen to return as he preferred to concentrate on less genre-specific productions. However, he liked the script due to the rural setting and his interest in archaeology. He would go on to direct the show many times again, but still listed the Damons as his favourite, saying it was a damn good script. Much of the serial was filmed on location in Oldbourne, Wiltshire. The location shoot was awarded two weeks of filming, more than double the usual amount at the time, leading to a lot of the finished story being set outside rather than in the studio. Membury Airfield in Berkshire and Bridge Farm, Ramsbury, we also used briefly as locations. Filming began on the 19th of April 1971 and saw pleasant and sunny weather for the first week, leading to sudden overnight snow in the second week, causing filming to be delayed. Some episode 1 scenes are filmed at night, a rarity for the show, although some of these scenes were filmed during daylight with a dark filter put over the camera lens. Other dark indoor scenes are filmed in a disused aircraft hangar at Bridge Farm, Ramsbury. Filming for the serial caused great excitement at Aldbourne a lot of the village residents appearing as extras, as well as the Headington Quarry Morris dancers performing routines in episodes 4 and 5. The cast included David Simeon, who himself was from Wiltshire where the story was being filmed. He had previously appeared in the Inferno story a year earlier. Comedy actress Damaris Heyman starred throughout the five episodes as Miss Hawthorne in a central role. Heyman him herself had an interest in the supernatural and helped out during production as an unofficial advisor. A friend of hers was a practicing witch who had commended the scripts for their accuracy. Veteran British actor Robin Wentworth played Professor Horner. Future television presenter and sooty puppeteer Matthew Corbett had a brief role in the final episode as a hooded coven member who objects to the sacrifice of Joe Grant and was suggested to the production team by friend Katie Manning. Other guest actors in the story include Don McKillop as the pub landlord, John Joyce as Garvin, and Stephen Fawn as Azal. Fawn would go on to appear in the show again as costumed villains in The Free Doctors, Frontier in Space, and The Hand of Fear. After three days of studio taping, work on the serial was completed on the 16th of May 1971, less than a month before transmission of the final episode. This last episode contains a footage of a model church being blown up. The scene was realistic enough to lead many viewers to believe that the BBC had blown up a church as part of the filming. The BBC received several letters complaining about this. The clip of the Brigadier's helicopter blowing up as it crashes into the heat shield is borrowed from the James Bond film From Russia With Love. The incantation for the masters in summoning Azal is actually the nursery rhyme Mary had a little lamb said backwards as well as Damaris Heyman's name said backwards.